Taran tan tan taran tan tan Natural Science Class with Teacher Fernando. In this video, we are going to learn about vertebrate animals. Vertebrate animals have a backbone or a spine. There are five different groups: mammals, fish, birds, reptiles, and amphibians. Before we start, let's have a look at some key vocabulary. Fur is the skin, the hair of the animals. This is a feather of a bird. Here we can see a tail. In this case is the tail of a whale, but there are plenty of animals with tail. Fin is this part of the fish and also in the fish they have gills are these little holes near the head that they use to breathe. If we move on to the birds, birds have wings, usually they have two wings and they make nests to lay their eggs. An offspring is the child of an animal. And we have viviparous animals, that is that the baby develops inside the mother, and oviparous animal that they are the ones that lay eggs. And the last word is scales that are these little things on the skin of reptiles and fish. So let's start with mammals. Mammals are the most intelligent animals on earth. They can walk, hop, swim and fly and most of them have fur or hair to keep them warm. Let's have a look now at these key life functions, nutrition, reproduction and respiration. So mammals, they can be carnivores, omnivores or herbivores. Mammals, in terms of reproduction, are viviparous. So they develop the child inside the mother. They drink their mother's milk when they are born. And about respiration, they breathe with their lungs. Some sea mammals, like the whale, need to come out of the water to be able to breathe. Fish. Fish move using their tail and fins, like we can see here in the shark. They have scales to protect their bodies. If we go now to this key aspects, nutrition, reproduction and respiration, fish can be carnivores, omnivores or herbivores, the same as mammals. With the reproduction, most of them are oviparous. They can lay millions of eggs. And for the respiration, fish have gills. They absorb oxygen from the water. That's how they can breathe underwater. Let's move on now to amphibians. They live in fresh water, like this. This is a fresh water area. Or in lands near rivers. Most of them all right, most of them have four legs. 
and also most amphibians are omnivores. They eat both meat and vegetables. The reproduction, they are oviparous, they lay eggs. And for the respiration, adult amphibians have lungs and also breathe with their moist skin. Now let's go to have a look at the birds. Well, obviously birds have wings and they use their feathers to protect their bodies. In the nutrition, they can be carnivores, omnivores or herbivores. And they reproduce laying eggs, so they are oviparous. They build a nest to lay their eggs. And birds, the same as mammals, they breathe with their lungs. Let's go now to the last of the five groups that are reptiles. Reptiles have scales to protect their body and most of them have four legs. Also, some reptiles have a shell like the turtle. If we have a look at the nutrition, most reptiles are carnivores and eat small animals. Reproduction, they are oviparous. And a curious fact, they don't look after their offsprings. So they just protect their eggs and until they hatch and then they just leave the offsprings alone. And with the respiration, reptiles have lungs. That was all for this video. I hope you like it and see you in the next one. Bye all!